It all started summer 2014. Everyone on Sodor was preparing for a summer bash. It was going to be the biggest party ever. But then someone has gotten crazy and turned on everyone. And an even bigger enemy turned to them for the worst thing to come. Let's start from the beginning. This is Thomas. Who are you looking at? He is a tank engine, and he runs on his own branch line. Thomas likes his branch line very much, but he likes to help on the main line too. He was picking up passengers from all over the world for their summer bash. One day, Cranky was waiting for Charlie. He was late. Where's Charlie? He's late again! Thank you, Pole Express. No problem at all, Charlie. Broken down again? This is like the upteenth time! I didn't mean to. You sound like Cola if he was sick. Oh, why, you son of a- Ugh, shut up! You guys argue more than Abbott and Costello! Actually, if we did argue like them, it'd be like- Who is on first? Well, what are you asking me for? I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, who is on first? I'm asking you who's on first. That's the man's name. That's whose name? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. Who? The guy on first. Who? The first base. Who is on first? Have you got a first baseman on first? Certainly. Then, then who's playing first? Absolutely. Besides, Cranky argues with everyone. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Guys, shut the crap up. We gotta go. Where are you going? Back to the yards to shunt some coaches for Pole Express. Wait, what about me? I'll tell Sir Tupham Hat. Stay there. That's all I can do. Hmm, <laughs> what a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and my wife's gonna make me the best cherry pie in the world when I come home. I'm such a fatty. Oh my god! <laughs> Not the face! Stupid birdie, why is it always me? I just don't know what went wrong! Anyway, Charlie has broken down and I need an engine to do his work while he's at the repair yard. Any volunteers? There was a long silence. And we have a winner! Ah, you jerk! Well then, Cola, you're to take Charlie's coal train delivery tonight. Idiots, why is it always me? I'm going to the mountains. Doing what? Why you think? Should we really let Cola do both his and Charlie's work, Thomas? What do you care? This was your stupid idea, stupid. Oh, it was my idea. Hey! Meanwhile... No, 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 no. The old Spongebob is way better, yeah? I know. I hate the new Spongebob, too. Wait. What? Why are we even having this conversation? It's pretty obvious the new Spongebob sucks. Good point, yeah? <laughs> ah! Well, we were just fine talking about Spongebob till you opened your mouth, yeah? Yeah, we're starting to get sick of your stupid robot voice. I mean, get a voice transplant, man! And come back when your voice doesn't make our ears bleed, yeah? Hey, 
Hello, Rusty. What's wrong? I'm really sick of my stupid robot voice. Can you give me a voice transplant? I could try. What kind of a voice do you want? Anything that's not a robot. Alright then. Okay, Rusty. I think I've done it. Try to talk. I must have my cereal. <gasps> I did! I have done it success for the voice transplant! Yeah, you did! Now my voice doesn't make our ears bleed! Everyone, I have done something fantastic today. I present to you... The New Rusty! What's up, everyone? No more robot voice for me! Rusty, your new voice is amazing! Yeah, I know. So why did you have a robot voice to begin with? Did you have an accident with the voice you had before that, or...? No, our creator decided to give me a robot voice when he made the first episode of us. Oh, that makes sense. Well, at least your voice isn't really bad anymore, yeah? It's so great! Lars is bogus. I have to take two trains tonight. Why me? Couldn't the fat man have given that job to Mike or someone else? Hey guys. Wow, you all look tired. That's because we've actually been working. Yeah, all you've done is mess around on that branch line of yours. Do you even still run on that? Haven't seen it in a long time. Shut up! I work just as hard as you all. Think about it, all those summer tourists. You think they'd need a train up there at some point? I barely made it up the mountains today. Guys, stop talking crap about this. I mean, my goodness, you all talk about Thomas being stupid more than Sir Tom my talks about his eating problem. Wait, you know about it? Did you think you were the only one who knows that, James? Good point. So quiet. Hey, look, it's Cole on his way to his night train. You idiotic whippersnappers. Have fun. I hate you all. <laughs> Angering cola is always fun. Well, I think it's getting dark. Good night, everybody. Stop ripping off Combine Harvester 01 for goodness sake. Ow! Ugh, why is it always me? I'm old, and I'm fat. Why can't that fat jerk of a controller say that? Oh, shut up. We've heard that one before. You're young, I'm old. You don't know what it feels like, you worthless piece of poop. I'll show you a worthless piece of poop when I rip out your- What was that? I just wet myself. It is my professional opinion that now is the time to PANIC! Sir Handel, the door is stuck. We can't get out yet. Don't worry, Duncan. We'll get the door open one way or another. Now stand here. Yeah. Turn around. Okay. Bend over, excuse me, and three, two, one, here up! <laughs> Good thing those door locks are on the inside of our sheds. Yeah. What the heck? Don't panic, guys. We mustn't panic. Silence! A storm has crossed the island last night. No kidding! Yeah, how unoriginal is that? The island has been destroyed. Don't worry, you can still buy torches and pitchforks at www.weatherchannel.com slash angry mob store. Sir? What about the summer party? We're going to have to start from scratch. Everyone must help. 
We'll discuss our progress tomorrow night. Aww, we really have to? Have to? Yes. Okay. okay. The engines didn't waste any time. They worked very hard to make sure that the island was ready for the summer bash. They have gotten a lot done in the next two days. They were very happy with themselves. That night, everyone waited for Sir Topham Hat. Where's Sir Topham Hat? He was supposed to be here an hour ago! Maybe he's just being slow. Or he could be suffering from memory loss again. Okay, seriously, Thomas? Why are you still using that joke? I don't know, I'm just trying to be funny. That is a waste of a thought. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Yeah, what took you so long, fatty? Hey! That's Mr. Fatty to you. Anyway, guess who's going on vacation to Hawaii? Say what now? Why didn't you tell us you were going on vacation? Well, I was reading today's issue of Sodor Magazine and we have a magazine of our island? You need to get out more. Anyway, I found a page offering a free cruise to Hawaii, and I registered it, and now I'm gonna be going on vacation. And I've decided to leave Thomas as controller while I'm gone. Say, what? No? I gotta go. I'm gonna be late for my flight if I don't leave, like, right now. <coughs> Fat idiot, I hope he stays in Hawaii forever. <laughs> I declare this the worst day of my life. Yeah, we might as well give up. Summer's ruined. You know, there was a group that thought exactly like you did, Percy. They were called losers. <coughs> when they never win anything, they think to just give up on life. But they didn't. You know why? Because they were dedicated. Yeah! They were inspired. Yeah! They were amazed by talent. Yeah! And they would always follow their leader. So what do you say? Are you a loser? No! no. Or a winner? Yeah! Hello, and welcome to the Sodor 3 o'clock news. I'm reporter Jonathan Bailey. Our top story, Thomas the Tank Engine has become controller of Sodor a few days ago, and we're going to see what everyone thinks of how he does. So I need your honest opinion. Does Thomas do a better job of being controller than Sir Topham Hatt? Oh yes, this group here thinks he does a way better job. Really? How so? Well, he schedules trains better, he keeps everything in order, and he fixed the problem to why we keep having crashes on a daily basis. So now we barely have any at all. Well, that's really good news for Thomas. Now we have another group here. Do you all think Thomas does a better job of being controller? Well, we think he does a terrible job. Really? What does he do badly of? Well, he makes us get our own trains, doesn't let us shunt them, and the trains keep getting delayed because of him. So what you're saying is that Sir Topham Hatt does a better job as a controller than Thomas? Well, of course we are, yeah. Well, we've heard some good reviews, we've heard some bad ones, but let's hear it from the tank engine himself, Thomas. Good to be here, Jonathan. Thomas, ever since you've become controller, have you thought you're doing a better job than Sir Topham Hat? Who's that? Well, either way, if people say I'm doing a great job, I know I'm doing better. You heard it here first, Sodor. Thomas the tank engine knows he does better. Thomas, thank you for your time. No problem at all. Oh, one more thing, Thomas. Would you say that you're the best controller Sodor's ever had? Naturally! Well then, would you say that you want more people from around the world to visit Sodor any time of the year? Eventually! Well then, would you say that one day you're going to be bigger than Obama? Of um, Well... That you can definitely say yes to. Say, Thomas, do you get a lot of children with your looks? Of course! Thank you. This is Jonathan Bailey, reporting from Sodor. Back to you, Tom. Thomas, are you in there? Go away! Can't you see I'm watching Adventure Time here? Thomas Diesel's had an accident. Just get a crane or something, bring him back up, and leave me alone. 
Thomas, you gotta come out and deal with this. Don't make me do stuff. You know what? I'm not gonna come to you for anything at all. See how you like it, lazy bum. Pfft. Tool. So that's when I said, that's no third grader, that's my mom. <laughs> oh, come on! How could I not pass that up? You're the worst comedian ever. Hey, shut up! Oh, hey, James, what's up? <sighs> Have you guys noticed that Thomas has been really lazy lately? No, I was at my grandma's house for a week. What do you think? Maybe he's trying to get his energy up before he can give us jobs. How? By watching more Adventure Time? He's getting more and more lazy by the day. Sometimes I wish he just didn't get everything because he's the star. What is it? It's a receipt. For 20 tons of dynamite. Who signed it? Thomas. Where would he get 20 tons of dynamite? I don't know. But I think he's going a little crazy. Quick! Let's go tell everyone! Alright. Later that evening, Charlie has returned from the repair yard. Hey guys, I- Whoa! Uh, why do you all look so scared? See for yourself. Well, who in the right mind would pay for 20 tons of dynamite? Look again. Thomas. Why would he pay for 20 tons of dynamite? That's what I said! We think that Thomas has finally gone nuts. Or maybe he's trying to increase security on the island. Oh, please! If he was doing that, then he would just get the police to protect the island from terrorists and stuff. What Harry means is that we think that Thomas may have bought the dynamites for other reasons. What? That's ridiculous! I've known Thomas my whole life, and I've known that he wouldn't do anything like that. Okay, Charlie, since you don't believe this, why don't you go and talk to him about it for us? There is no way I'm gonna tell Thomas that you all think he's going crazy. Everyone thinks you're nuts. Those little pricks, why? Well, they said something about you buying 20 tons of dynamite. Oh, that's ridiculous. I know. And they also said that you're using it for destruction purposes. <laughs> but what are the odds of that happening, right? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> but that part's true. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, the entire island's wired. You see, ever since 2004 when Season 8, or The Change That Ruined Thomas and Friends, has been released, I've been known as the star builder that doesn't let older characters of the show shine. Of course, that ruined me, so I wanted to become controller for a long time. And now that I've got the power, you all will listen to me, no matter what. And if you all try to take me away from this, I'm not afraid to go down with the ship. You know what they say, if you call me names, then you'll go down. You're right, he's gone nuts. We gotta act fast. Well, what are we gonna do? I say we invade on him. James, you get the guns. Percy, you get the bombs. And you diesels get any military weapons you can find. We attack tomorrow. La 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 Now where have I heard that song before? Ugh! Who threw this tomato at me? Your singing sucks! Shut up! It's beautiful! Ah! What the heck? Fire 2! Oh my god! Ah! Ow! Oh. Hello! And goodbye. Yeah! What in the world do you all think you're doing? Trying to keep you from causing destruction, that's for sure. 
Charlie, how dare you? It's time for a new order. Uh, 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 a new order? We're tired of you taking everything for granted. Heck, I got a new voice and you never talk about it. Hey, Rusty, when did you get a new voice? I'll stand corrected. Well, either you got your voice changed or not, y'all ain't gonna stop me. For the dynamite is already wired and under the ground, ready to explode all of you. And to activate it, I have a big button right behind me. What an out place to put a button. So if you try anything on me, then you'll die in a fire explosion. But Thomas, why are you threatening to kill us? Well, ever since the kids started to get into other kids shows like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, My Little Pony, Spongebob, and other crap, I've been really worried that the fan base would go down, and the Thomas and Friends show would just stop altogether. So I thought the only way to have a larger fan base was to threaten them if they don't watch me. I want them to watch me, 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 and nothing else! You know that this is a parody fan series of the show, right? Anyway, short, sweet, and to the point, if anyone does not watch me, or they make star-billing jokes about me at all, they going down. You don't really need to do this. I mean, it makes no sense. You trying to insult me, Charlie? Cause I will blow up the island. You don't have the guts. Oh, yeah? Well, we're waiting. You idiot! That button activates the punch box! Oh crap. I'll be back! Nobody cares. First Sodor, and then the world! How did he know of my plan? Thank you for watching Lionel Thomas of the Movie. Act 1, Act 2 comes out July 20th. Be there or be square. Please subscribe for more Thomas videos.